Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another Jurassic World unboxing and review video. Today we'll be taking a look at the new Jurassic World Legacy Collection Ellie Sattler Risky Rescue Pack. And now this is one of my favorite uh, figure packs to come out so far. It comes with a human figure, dinosaur, and vehicle. Really great combo. Lately Mattel's been doing that a lot with their packs featuring uh, more than just the vehicle. Um, so that's really cool that you can get um, an exclusive Ellie with raincoat figure and then a generic uh, Jurassic Park Velociraptor. Which is super cool that we get another paint variant of it as well. Um, if you're not satisfied with the past ones that have come out, but um, the Jeep itself is super detailed. Uh, one of the coolest parts of this set, you can see it's got the uh, mud paint job to it. Now this is the number 10 Jeep. Uh, we already have 12 and 18. Um, which I'll be comparing it to later in the video, but it has a bunch of cool features like these opening crates for your weapons and items, as well as this little back seat with a crate to prop Ian up on. Um, yeah, it's just full of details, and the package itself also has some great um, little details as well. You can see the bunker in the background with some old rusty fencing, uh, danger high voltage sign, rusty door, and some trees. It's really great, and it brings that scene to life. Um, well, brings a few scenes to life, actually, but I think that's really neat that they included that from the movie, um, even though this scene may uh, be showing a completely different uh, scene, but whatever. Um, yeah, so this vehicle pack, you can see on the back it says opens, Velociraptor, and there's her figure, um, and then it shows the scan codes just to get that over with. Um, but we're gonna have to dig into the actual package itself to get the vehicle out, but we'll start with the Velociraptor. It looks like it's about to be chomped by that uh, T-Rex render in the background, which is a really cool addition to the Legacy uh, Collection packaging. Um, so let's see, we've got the scan code there, for those of you who collect these little scan codes. Still been slacking on doing one of these uh, scan code videos. I swear I'll get on it one day, but um, I just need to complete the Dominion lineup before I can uh, start with that. But um, yeah, this figure has the little Jurassic logo on the foot, like always, and has the basic posability of um, that of like just the basic lineup. Um, jaw opens and closes. Uh, this one doesn't close fully. Kind of looks like it's got a little snarl with the teeth. But the, um, the little pupil there, uh, they did not paint, they just left it unpainted, so uh, the dark brown on the background of the head fills it in. It kind of looks black from a distance, but really nice paint job. Um, that paint starts uh, mid kind of snout and then goes all the way down and stops before the tail. But it still looks fine, it doesn't look unfinished. Like the eye itself is fantastic and really helps the figure pop, same with this painted um, neck and jaw, but the uh, paint doesn't actually go down to the stomach, which I'm kind of sad about um, because on older figures, like this guy here from the kitchen set, no, from the uh, set with Ellie and Hammond and that uh, banner, you can see it kind of goes a little bit further down to the stomach. Um, you can see the eyes actually like uh, shiny silvery green. Um, and the pupil is kind of lower down, this one's further up. Gives it a more menacing look actually, but um, yeah, completely different paint job, totally different style. Um, so if you're not satisfied with the old ones, you can start your uh, new Raptor pack with this guy, but um, yeah, I was expecting them to be a bit more similar, but I do like this one a lot more. The paint app on the face is a lot better. Um, I'll compare it to the Kitchen Encounter set. Yeah, it, that looks better. Holy cow. Okay, because this is just paint around the eyes and nothing around the head, but this goes all the way down. Um, now let's see, compared to the uh, Hammond Collection one, I do like this one better. This is nicer. I think they nailed the design with this. Um, yeah, so this is such a great figure then. Uh, compared to the rest, this is fantastic. So this guy's the long leg mold too. Um, you would have seen on the previous one, uh, this one's short leg mold. So this guy's really tall and in like a running position, less of a crouching position. Um, I also like the teeth, they're more like of um, kind of 
dirty white, like a yellowy white. Um, so that's a little bit more realism. They're not like pearly, shiny white teeth. Um, so let's dig into that Jeep. I'm gonna try and play surgery with the box here and try and get into that without really damaging it because I do keep the boxes. Um, I probably shouldn't, but I've been doing it since the first lineup. I wasn't, uh, since 2018, so I wasn't expecting them to release this many figures um, in my lifetime, so kind of uh, a mistake there, but whatever. Um, oh, the inside's pretty cool. Okay, let's actually complete it. There's uh, some little uh, wind, uh, what are they, mirrors there, so we'll get those out somehow. Um, we're gonna have to get the plastic off. This may be a bit of a challenge. They glued it on pretty well. I'm trying to get um, a little bit of leverage to pull. There we go. Maybe come a little cleaner. Oh, it just came right off. Let's see. We'll see. So it's not that bad. The background's still kind of intact. We'll dump the box, and we'll put these little mirrors on. Um, unfortunately, there's no little print on there saying objects in mirror are closer than they appear, because that would be super sick, but um, maybe too tiny for them to add that, but whatever. So we'll just pop these in. Pretty sure this is the right way. Kind of have to just force them in. That one popped in with a click. This one took its time. But yeah, so there the mirrors are in. Um, you can see the dashboard is actually clear plastic. Um, they did not paint that at all. Kind of odd that they did that. I don't know if they did that on the previous uh, ones. I don't think they did. So yeah, on the original uh, Legacy Collection one, they have it in uh, dark gray plastic, and that's number 18. Um, and then on number 12, the Dennis Nedry one, they also have it in that clear plastic. Um, so it seems like a new theme. Um, I don't know, I guess if you're not looking at it from this angle, it's not that big of a deal, but it's not right. Like, it just doesn't look right at all. Um, but that's whatever, it's, I, I <laughs> can't really complain too much about it. Now the seats of course are standard, but that back seat is really cool with like the propped up leg piece. And then these two little uh, compartments for your weapons and stuff and your items uh, that the figures used to come with. Um, so we got Ellie in her raincoat. Um, she's got the old, tor old torso on, um, but the arms and the uh, raincoat itself are completely different. I think her uh, lower half is also the same. Um, I think it's slightly greener than the original, um, just by a bit. And same with the uh, torso, darker blue on the shirt and a little darker pink. Um, her hair is also darker. The original has like a more of a whitish appearance, whereas this one's more uh, yellow and her uh, face mold got an update. Sharper features and the uh, uh, details of her eyes, eyebrows, and lips are more like uh, defined, I guess. Like the old one's a little gritty. It looks like a lower resolution uh, print on it. So that's pretty interesting. And also her skin color is a little bit more, uh, less pink, more white. Um, so that's just like small details they changed, but probably going to carry forward into other figures that they might make of her in the future. Um, so she can fit in there, and I think, from what I remember, got shirtless Ian from the uh, exclusive set uh, from Entertainment Earth in the back, um, and he fits perfectly. Resting against that back bumper, his legs um, do fit there, which it looks like completely intentional. They, uh, they were fully uh, um, measuring that out because sometimes figures don't fit in certain places, but that is perfect. Um, his legs just propped up in there. And he's lying back like that. And then he can be looking back at the T-Rex chasing them. And then um, can put Robert in here driving. I can't remember if Robert was driving or Ellie. Um, 
I did not watch the scene or look it up before the review, but I don't think it matters that much. So, Jeep's all dirty and muddy from driving through the, um, the rain and the mud. And then we've got the uh, Hammond Exclusive Rex here for the chase. That would make for a very fantastic uh, photo. Um, Got to go out on a rainy day. I think it would be even better. But this uh, set itself is perfect for recreating this scene from the movie. Absolutely fantastic. Um, love all the details from the mud on the tires and on the body to the place for Ian in the back. Um, compared to the other Jeeps, it's got like the standard license plates. It's got the number on the license plate, uh, 10, whereas this one's 12, and then this one's 18. Uh, this one's got a working winch. This is, I guess, the play feature for this one, whereas the uh, these two have a um, molded-in winch. Uh, this one's got a lighter uh, gray, this one's got a darker gray, um, but everything else... Um, is relatively the same mold wise it's just it's got the dirt on it um, but yeah the tire and everything in the back um, even the little um, hook for a trailer is there and for the back seats um, they made the back seat smaller and pushed it further back so there's a leg room for Ian whereas this one has a little compartment in the back for items instead and uh, no uh, tire in the back. So yeah, there is the uh, whole set. Um, I hope it broke it down enough, but um, really fantastic. Definitely every figure, sh or every figure, oh my goodness, every uh, collector should get this set. It is perfect for uh, recreating scenes, and of course it has the fun little um, boxes in the back, and yeah, no, one of a kind. Um, I hope they make more though. Um, I'd love to see uh, different variants of the Jeep with uh, uh, the winch again would be fantastic. I know we didn't get that in the Dennis Nedry one, which was a bit of a loss because um, it definitely was part of that scene. But uh, this one has everything you need, so fantastic, great Jeep. Um, definitely grab it before it disappears in case they don't make another, but I'm pretty sure they will in the future. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. I post every day, hopefully. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.